Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, making it a wonderful Wednesday. We're going to continue subtracting using our vertical form, but this time we are going to focus on regrouping in the ones, tens, and hundreds. So we're going to always take a look at our place value first. We're going to look at the red disc at the top to find our first number. So we're going to start with two hundreds, six tens, and two ones. Now remember the slashes means that's how much we're taking away in the second row. We have three ones being taken away and we have six tens being taken away. Do we have any hundreds being taken away? Nope, we don't see any slashes right there. Now, we look at our ones and we ask ourselves, can we take three ones from two? And the answer is no, it's not enough. So we're going to regroup from our neighbor, the 10. So that means we're gonna X out a 10. We're gonna unbundle it. How many do we unbundle? 10 ones. And that's gonna give us a total of 12 altogether. So we have 10 that we unbundled plus two that we had. We have 12 altogether. Now can we take away our three ones? Yes, and that gives us nine. Now because we took away a 10, that only gave us five left. So that's why our number is five up here. This 10 changed into five. Now we're gonna ask ourselves, can we take six tens away from five? No, we cannot. So we need to unbundle from which place value? From its neighbor, the hundreds. So we X out a hundred, we unbundle and decompose how many tens? 10 tens. So we're gonna do 10 plus five gives us 15, because we have 15 now all together. Now can we take away the six tens from the 15 tens? Yes, and that gives us nine. Now, because we regrouped, we unbundled, we only have 100 left. So that's why we have a one right here. The two changed to one, because we let our neighbor borrow um, one, Hundred, which is 10 tenths. So now we have 199 as our answer. You will do the same thing in your practice problem. Ms. Hernandez has filled in some spots for you already. You need to show me if you can tell me what the regrouped number of ones is and tenths and the final answer. And finally in your exit ticket, you're gonna tell me how many we're taking away and what are the regrouping digits and our final answer. If you are getting a little confused, always go back to your example and look at the explanation. You got this.